If you're a gamer, you've probably had this experience. There's some much anticipated AAA title that's coming out soon, and the game developer drops this epic looking trailer that makes the game look like the culmination of humanity's progress, at least as far as computer graphics are concerned. But then the game gets released and you're left feeling a little bit like you did after you ate at Golden Corral. Drawn in by the promises of affordable, attractive looking food, but ending up with nothing but the stomach ache you got after trying out that chocolate fountain thing. So why is it that games often don't look like their trailers? Well, companies jazzing up their advertising to make their stuff seem cooler or more delicious than it is, isn't exactly new. In video game land, this often takes the form of rendering trailer footage using a completely different engine. And you can learn more about game engines here. But the gist of it is that a game engine is the software framework the game is created in that ultimately defines how it will look on your screen. Lighting effects, physics, textures, etc. Well then, what kind of engines do trailers use? Isn't computer graphics rendering pretty much all the same? Well, no. The computer animation software that would be used on a film like Avatar, which Media Division handily listed here, is designed for maximum beauty and detail with, I don't want to say zero, but very little regard for the resources required to render the scene. To put it in perspective, a single frame of a big budget movie like Pixar's Monsters U might take hours or even days to render on a large multi-million dollar render farm, while the typical gamer expects 60 plus frames per second from their $200 video card from Amazon. Add to that that the trailer doesn't need to work with any input from the player. So no AI, no collision detection, no camera angle changes, no real-time hair physics, the list goes on. And it's not surprising then that they end up feeling like artsy short film side projects sometimes, looking at you, Final Fantasy. With that said, some developers are a little more honest and do use the game's actual engine. But even in those cases, they often come out looking a lot cooler than the game itself. This is because the developer has access to graphical settings modifications that they might never plan to expose to the end user for whatever reason. <laughs> Watch talks. And furthermore, for the purposes of a trailer, the developer isn't playing the game. So even if the scene renders super slowly, the frames can be stitched together into a smooth video to be used in the trailer later on. So even for trailers labeled actual in-game footage, I only 100% trust them if I can see the dev on stage pressing the controller buttons in real time. On the subject of time, however, as transistor sizes continue to get smaller and materials other than silicon should be showing up on our processors over the next decade or so, the next big leap in home computer graphics might be closer than you'd think. I mean, do you remember how amazing Toy Story looked in 1995? I can say with confidence that you could play a Toy Story game that looks just like that today. That is to say, unless you're still rocking one of those super old graphics cards with like fighter jets or attractive cyborg women on the shroud. So bad. Speaking of bad, you know what's bad? Getting home at the end of a long day of working on painting houses or, you know, making cool crafty things that you sell online or plumbing or whatever it is that you do if you're a small business owner and having to sit down and deal with your accounting crap. That sucks. And FreshBooks is on a mission to make freelancers like you less stressed and more organized through their easy to use tools for crafting and sending professional invoices in seconds, tracking your hours so that when it comes time to create that invoice, you know exactly what you did and who you did it for, and even accepting payment. You can take deposits or you can take the final work all at once. It's up to you. The work can be paid for on your schedule. They've even got a great tool for managing expense reports. The mobile app just lets you take a picture of your receipts and pretty much handles the rest. Getting started on FreshBooks is easy, even if you're not a numbers person, and you can try it for free for 30 days by going to freshbooks.com slash techquickie and entering techquickie in the how did you hear about us section in the link below. So thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. If you want to check out our other channels, they are over here. Well, actually, they're not here, but there's a button that you can click here that will take you to them. 
And if you want to leave a suggestion for a future fast as possible, you can do that here by typing it. And if you want to subscribe, then I like you. Jeff.